Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. As me, Kane, and Cecil, we are going to the Cave of Mist. And, well, actually, as much as I want to go there right now, let's take a little look at the Town of Baron, because there are some things that we can get. Got a potion there. I think you can... No, you can't buy items there. That's a different village I'm thinking about. This is where the items are. We got 400, uh, 480 gold. So we shall buy... Oh man, I wonder... I wonder if that duplication code wor uh, trick works here. Because there is a duplication... Uh, little glitch I guess you can take advantage of. Which is actually uh, really humorous. You can really break this game in like an instant. It's like, uh... Damn, I don't even know how to do that trick anymore. It's been so long. I know it involves you having to be in, um... You have to pretty much be in a battle, and... It's like, uh... Um... I don't know, I'll try it out, but I really... Can't remember how it's done. But, damn, if you get a nice weapon, then you can pretty much duplicate the shit out of it. And then it's like, game broken. Um, nah, I, I forgot at this point. I'll have to look it up again. Even if it works on this version, though, that's, that's what I'm wondering here. Because, um, you know, this isn't exactly the Super Nintendo version of it. So, that glitch may not be present here, so... Eh, it's a toss-up. Eh, we got some moblins, or goblins. Gobbity gooks. But, nothing uh, Dark Rave can't handle. That was a, quite a piss-off from, uh... the original Super Nintendo version. That move did not exist. Cecil just had attack and items, I believe. He never had, like, Freaking dark wave. Not that I remember, no. I mean, Kane had jump, but for some reason, Cecil didn't have his special move. So I'm like, what the fuck? So it was actually a real treat when, like, you play the Final Fantasy IV remakes, and you actually do get to see those special abilities. And here we are at the Cave of Mist. Overall, not very bad. It's, you know, it's the first dungeon that you get introduced to, so it's not really going to be very intimidating. Um, I guess the worst things in this dungeon are the sword rats, because they always counterattack every time you hit them. And their spike counter is pretty potent, I would say. And because you do have Cecil's special ability here to take advantage of, like I say, take advantage of it because it attacks all creatures, so you really can't go wrong with it. Um, let's see. Thoughts on the music? Uh, turn back. Who's there? I was never really... I don't know, maybe it's because I played this game so religiously when I was a kid. Like, listening to some of the music over time, it really wears and tears at you. That kind of happened with this dungeon music, because it just really... I don't know, it's just not something I really... I don't know, it's not something I really enjoy much. It's got the wrong sound to it, and got copper. To me, it's just like, it's more depressing, really. I mean, it's got that air of mystery to it. It's like you're in this crazy mysterious cave, you have no idea what's around you because it's so foggy. And it kind of conveys that kind of feeling. Feeling of mystery, but at the same time the music just... It's too, too calm and soothing, I guess I would say. And eye drops. Perfect. Um, let's see what else to say about this. Um, 
yeah, it's like, it's a real cakewalk. Even the boss, very introductory RPG bosses, you know. You just use brute force, really. It gets more complex as you go on, naturally, but for now, it's really just brute force the whole way. And, you know, they throw in a couple other mechanics as well into the boss fight, but... God damn it. Really now? Goblins? Who invited you? I mean, now I'm starting to remember why I took such a long break from right after doing Final Fantasy VI. It's just like all these fucking random battles. Oh my god. It, nothing was as worse, though, as, um, the cave that brought you to the Espers, um, in Final Fantasy VI. That, oh my god, there were so many random battles in that one area. It drove me nuts. Like, to get through a, that simple puzzle took me maybe a half hour, because all the, you know, you know, I did, granted, mess up a couple times, like, got a little confused, but also the random battles don't help things much either. And also, if you didn't realize, um, Kane has the jump ability, which everybody should be familiar with. It's actually a godsend. It's like it saves you at some, like, some instances in this game, like, later on. Um... I thought there was a save point around here, but I guess I'm mistaken. Or I missed it, but... What? You can't even... can't organize it? Wait... That's strange. Can't you organize this stuff? That's weird. I must be missing something, because... There's no way in hell you can actually... That's not right. What? Oh, that's right. It's on the bottom. That's... I'm so used to Final Fantasy VI with, um... You know, you press, like... What is it? A or B, and it brings you to, like, the sub-level or the tabs on the top. And you can choose whether you want to sword it or blah blah blah. Leave now. Not the first time I've heard that. Um, is that Phantom Beast? It very well is. You're from Baron, aren't you? Who's there? If you turn back, no harm will come to you. Show yourself. You still insist on proceeding? Um, no. Let's go. Nah, fuck it. Let's do it. Yes. Yes, I do. We must deliver this bomb ring to the village of mist. Then I have no choice. The fog is gathering. And it's... It's boss time. Yup. And the mist dragon. Um, pretty much brute force all the way. Except there will be periods when it will encase itself with fog. And then if you attack it, then it will counterattack. So, you have to use a little caution here. And I really need something to drink. Ah, oh, that's better. God knows, talking for like... 30 minutes plus. Takes a lot out of your voice. Oh, shh. And this is what I was talking about. When it does this... You deal, I think, less damage... But also... Oh, you missed. Never mind. Uh, counter attacks with um yeah that and yep it pretty much tells you it will counter attack if you should attack it and oh god oh I'm surprised it didn't counter attack there but I'm more than okay with that and are you going to come back Hello, we got a boss fight here. Thank you. And now you just wail away at it again. Um, 
I more than prefer using jump attack with Kane because at the same time he's also protected from any attack so unfortunately Cecil takes a brunt of the damage but he's also got more HP so he can more than tank it so I'm not really scared. I really can't recall also ever losing to this boss. Not even as a child. Man, th yeah, this is like maybe one of the Final Fantasies that I could honestly say I've spent like most of my childhood in. Just sunk so much time. Got 200 gil, 350 experience. There we go. I mean, I gotta say, like, I remember one time I would wake up in the morning and by like late afternoon I would be I would be right at the part where you're you have to go into the non-metallic cave where you have to confront the dark elf I was able to get to that point just in like a single sitting a little crazy but it just goes to show a couple hours work uh, you can get pretty far in this game and mission successful. Wait a second. Holy shit. Well surely they're not going to do anything bad, are, are they? Oh boy. Well thank god we don't have to fight these guys, but... What is this? This is why we were sent here? To burn the village? Why? King Baron! No! Oh my god. Who's that? Mom's dragon died. Oh. Oh. Um. Dear god. Come to think of it, I've heard of this. People with the power to call monsters, they are called summoners. No, can't be that us defeating that dragon caused this mo girl's mother to die. Uh oh. You guys killed mom's dragon? We didn't know. The king sent us here to wipe out the summoners. Dear god. Unfortunately, our orders. We have no alternative but to kill this girl. Oh, what? King, you cold-hearted bastard. Just a child. Are you saying we should defy the king? If he expects us a murder like this, I have no intention of following him. I renounce all loyalty to the king, to the Red Wings, and to Baron. Hmm. I thought you'd say that. I won't let you oppose the king alone, of course. Come on, Kane. You were all ready to kill that girl. Show the king has a dragon I could never perform such a... You seem awfully ready to do it. I mean, Kane, he's such a... He's very unpredictable. Anyway, it's too dangerous for us to stay here. We've got to get out of this village. What should we do with this girl? Only one choice. She goes with us. Come here, little girl. I got candy. Got no choice, we'll have to force her to come with us. Don't come any closer. Wait. Can't say I hate you. I hate you all! Aw oh, shit. Jump, Kane, jump! Aw oh, shit, it's too late. Yeah, don't expect to win this battle. Um. Don't expect to win, you just. She summons the guy, and then this happens. And my god, what a... What a force. Just causes the mountains to collapse like that. And sure enough, uh... Kane is missing. What are we on in time here? 15 minutes almost, so yeah, we're gonna have to call it a day soon. Phew, the girl's alright. Kane? Kane, where are you? K 
Kane? Kane? Got a stupid screen, wait. Aw, oh, I can't stay here forever. I've got to get out of here. Kane, please be alive. And so with that, we are now missing Kane. We found this mysterious girl in this uh, village of mist. What else awaits us as we move on throughout this adventure? Um, with what goal, really? Um, we no longer owe our loyalty to the King of Baron. And now we just seem to be in limbo. We gotta find out, formulate some kind of plan here. But Anyways, we'll leave that for the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching, and sayonara.